How about spirulina? Spirulina, many institutions in Malaysia, they fail in spirulina. Why they fail in spirulina? Because when they culture the spirulina inside the laboratory, it's good environment. Constant temperature, constant light. So when they transfer into the pond, it becomes the food of many other algae, many other animals. Okay, it always collapses in the pond. So what the extent do with, with the spirulina? When we first get the spawn from overseas, we don't keep inside the lab. We put into the pond. And 90 over percent die. Only very few survive. Those very few survive, we go into the lab and multiply it. Then we put into the pond again. Then 80% died. Then we take again. Go to the lab, multiply. Then the third time, the fourth time, many, many times, until they survive. If the spirulina can't even take care of himself, how can he take care of us? This is the simple logic. He must be able to take care of himself. Our Gedonoma, same thing. We throw it in the jungle, let it grow. Those who, those who grow one will become the spawn. Those who die one, get out. It's a survivor of the fittest. After that, the, the spirulina grow really well. Let's say you go to our farm. Our spirulina grow so thick, you know. No other algae can compete with them. Because our spirulina is very strong. So we do not need to put fungicide. We do not need to put a lot of chemical in order to control, to make it survive. The spirulina must be able to survive by itself. So this is how we get the best spirulina.